Welcome to uh, the first episode of the uh, build I'm doing, which is the uh, monogram Datsun 280Z. Um, I'll show you what I've gotten done so far. Uh, uh, like I said, we just got uh, finished up on putting a new roof up uh, this this week. Um, and with my work schedule, I didn't have much time. But with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, I'll uh, show you what I've done so far. Put this away. Um, <clears throat> basically, what I started off with is um, actually uh, taking my uh, airbrush and uh, using some Craft Smart. Uh, let me uh, bring the light in a little bit better here for you. There you go. But uh, yeah, I was using some of the uh, Craft Smart satin acrylic paint, uh, black, uh, to do some of the interior bucket, the underside of the chassis and uh, the dashboard um, using my Pache uh, airbrush uh, let me bring this up for you so uh, you can see uh, and I've let this kind of uh, dry for a couple of days uh, but this is uh, uh, what's kind of like turned out uh, very nice and smooth very clean uh, and like I said I applied several coats on there just to get into all the nooks and crannies of the uh, mechanisms underneath the uh, chassis itself uh, so uh, very pleased the way the uh, the paint came out on this uh, so basically that's the uh, underside of the chassis and uh, I went ahead and <clears throat> went with the interior of the uh, bucket and uh, as you can see since this is a curbside uh, kit. Uh, let me see if I can get a pointer here for you. Let me just use my pencil here. Uh, <clears throat> but as you can see here, uh, not much detail. Uh, and like I say, everything's molded into the interior bucket itself. So, we, you know, once again, we have the uh, clutch, brake, and gas pedal here. Uh, as far as the radio and everything, uh, it's barely visible, but it's just slightly inscribed. Uh, into the uh, part of the console itself um, <clears throat> you know you also have yourself a uh, a molded in uh, kind of a parking brake mechanism as well but uh, uh, once again um, and uh, of course uh, we have a little floor mat uh, that's right here on the driver's side as well uh, I did uh, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tell here but I did put some tape down where the uh, seats are going to be glued onto, uh, just so that we have good uh, cover for the uh, when we uh, when it comes time for uh, gluing the parts together, because uh, I want to make sure it's uh, bare, uh, you know, the bare uh, plastic, uh, so we get good uh, adhesion with the uh, the glue. But uh, overall, uh, like I said, the uh, initial uh, spraying of the satin black uh, looks pretty good. Uh, I'll go back in there a little bit later and uh, do a little bit more detail work, but uh, uh, that's where we're at at this point here. <clears throat> On this tree here, uh, we basically have our dashboard, same thing. Uh, just uh, sprayed it uh, real lightly, several coats. Um, may have to spray it one more time because I still see a little bit of some red showing. Uh, but uh, like I said, this is the uh, dashboard itself painted in the uh, satin black um, actually uh, you know I'm kind of looking at I don't know if you can see it in the camera but with a little bit of the red show it looks almost like the red gauges who knows they may just uh, since they didn't supply it with any decals for the dashboard area uh, that might be a nice little touch there and just maybe almost leave it alone so yeah think about it uh, as well as the uh, steering wheel, I went ahead and painted that all um, black uh, for right now. Uh, I'll probably go back and uh, do a little bit more detail work around the uh, steering uh, wheel itself. Uh, maybe a reddish brown color uh, and uh, kind of go from there. Uh, while I have this tree in hand, uh, if you call in the out of box review, uh, the nose. Uh, front and uh, nose panel uh, had a nice crack to it down the center uh, so I went ahead and glued that with some of my Tamiya extra thin cement uh, get this in the camera view here um, 
so that's nice and tight fit and uh, like I said I'll end up uh, uh, when I get down to uh, priming the car and then uh, putting a base coat on there uh, that should kind of disappear and it is on the underside so you won't really be seeing it uh, anyway so uh, but it's it's nice and solid and uh, cured and uh, ready to go so we'll put that off the side here <clears throat> last but not least we have the uh, main body of the car if you recall we had a uh, I guess you would call it a broken pillar uh, from the door frame uh, coming down here so I basically uh, went ahead and uh, glued that in place and taped it up and let it set overnight uh, I actually had trouble using different types of glue so there's actually about <laughs> Believe it or not, there's probably about two or three different types of glue on here that I used just to try to hold it in place. Um, once that was done, uh, I tried, you know, went ahead and sanded as best as I could uh, under the circumstances um, without losing any of the detail of the uh, the car itself. So, uh, like I said, pretty much this is where we're at right now at this stage. Uh, one more thing I did do was uh went ahead and put the seats together uh if you recall we had a two-part uh mechanism for the seat so i went ahead and glued that together uh sanded all the seams down to get it as smooth as possible and seamless and uh like i said we went ahead and uh, sprayed the uh two bucket seats as well in the uh satin black so that's where we stand right now for uh, what we're doing, and uh, and we'll be back shortly. And we're back, and uh, as you can see, I did a little bit more work on the uh, bottom half of the chassis. Um, I actually uh, uh, went with uh, a little uh, Craftsmark gloss acrylic just to uh, uh, break up the uh, satin black a little bit. Uh, just as a little extra feature there and uh, as well as the um, I use some folk art metallic uh, paint silver sterling uh, for the uh, muffler and uh, and the exhaust pipes as you can see right here let me kind of bring it a little bit closer for you here so we got the exhaust pipes, muffler, and tail pipes going all the way back by the gas tank there. That's all the, uh, like I said, folk art metallic silver, as well as the transmission. Um, I also, uh, just to kind of highlight a little bit, I used some of the uh, folk art ice blue. And I basically dry brushed it uh, right over the, uh, like I said, the muffler and the exhaust pipes. Uh, just to give a hint of that little blue color um, as well as on the transmission itself um, for the <clears throat> uh, oil pan uh, I basically went with the folk art engine red this guy right here and uh, applied that as well and uh, then I went back with the sterling silver and dry brushed it a little bit uh, just to give some little wear and tear and uh, I'm going to assume that's maybe the oil filter. So I went with just using the Craft Smart Satin acrylic paint on that. And uh, I also put the gloss paint uh, on the bottom half of the uh, radiator. But uh, seeing this is a curbside, that's about uh, I'm going to do for detail work on the bottom of the chassis of this. So. Uh, that should be done. I'm going to go ahead and clear coat that uh, later once this all dries, the paint dries and stuff like that. Um, as far as the interior bucket, I just add a few more details to it. Uh, same thing, I uh, basically use some gloss black for the pedals. And uh, as far as the silver highlights are on the console and uh, the back part of the uh, rear part of the uh, car I actually used my Sharpie permanent marker uh, silver sterling just kind of give it that chrome look to it um, as far as the side uh, door panels uh, I 
basically uh, used the uh, gloss black for the uh, different texture on the door sides of the door panels themselves on either side. So uh, that's where I'm at with the interior part of the bucket. And uh, a couple more things here. I went ahead and uh, uh, applied a black coat to the uh, axle rods uh, where the tires go on. And as you can see, I've done a little bit more on the dashboard. Uh, uh, same thing, I used the uh, Folk Art Metallic uh, Silver to uh, dry brush the uh, insignia of the Datsun above the uh, glove box and uh, as well as the AC vents on the undersides as well as in the center and uh, as far as the uh, gauges and the clocks um, I went ahead and, and uh, basically just uh, took my fine brush and dabbed a little bit of the silver sterling in there, let it set up a little bit, went back and I dipped the uh, brush in some water, uh, wiped it on a towel and then just kind of uh, got the excess out and because it is kind of detailed inside there with highlights uh, and it's raised so whatever's left uh, I got little bits of, uh, um, of the silver sterling uh, paint uh, attached to the numbers and the uh, needles and gauges. I know it's hard to see with the camera, but uh, it's there. And uh, so, <clears throat> like I said, uh, you won't see hardly any of this once the body is on. So that's pretty much it for detail on that part there. And we'll take, take that back. And uh, <clears throat> as far as the seats are concerned, can I come down here? Uh, I went ahead and I use the uh, gloss black uh, for the headrest uh, and in between the uh, uh, the seat uh, there's some strips of uh, uh, painted on gloss and uh, as far as the there's four little detailed holes uh, on the back of the seat itself I took a toothpick and I cut it on a 45 degree angle and uh, I dabbed some of the sterling silver in there and just carefully dabbed it into those four little center points and uh, that's what we came up with so uh, I don't know if you can see that or not but that's where we're at right now so uh, basically we're going to go ahead and uh, call this one episode done uh, stay tuned uh, for uh, future videos and uh, once again Appreciate you watching and subbing. I hope everybody has a good day, and uh, we'll see you later. Till next week.